for this car and thanks to Kevin we are now in the most JDM car I think I've ever driven that's from the United States so let's have some fun all motor let's see how it does but this person in front of us has learned how to drive I have faith in you <laughs> I'm trying to learn VTEC today all right so today ladies and gentlemen we're in a 1994 Honda or slash Acura Integra whatever you want to call it and this is one badass Integra. This is by Right Hand Drive Kev from Instagram, and also, more importantly, Four Bangers Production. Four Bangers is a channel I've watched a long time ago. If there's one way to do an Integra, I think this is the way. The last Integra I did was a very interesting boosted car, but this is the first ever built all-motor Honda I've ever driven. Mix of it being right hand drive and a first time experience is awesome. So let's just get this out of the way. Pretty much every single part of this car is touched. So bushings, the motor, it's wire tucked, has an awesome harness set up and it's just, it's so tucked that it looks like the motor's hovering. And whenever I see a Honda like that, I think that's so cool, especially with how compact a Honda motor is. I think that's really interesting. So this has type S transmission stuff. So everything in the trans is like M factory, different ratios, it's a four seven final drive. It's awesome. Motor setup, K24 bottom, built K20 head. So it makes 271 horsepower and also 191 torque. So what that does is, it's an all motor setup that doesn't sound like that much horsepower, but when you're in a Honda that weighs like 2,000 pounds, that's where it really shines. Because inside, you have the interior up front, but you don't have interior back there. So you have a completely gutted back, which is funny because you have these little stereo speakers back there. And the first time I saw it, I was like, whoa, Kevin, look at you. You're killing the game. You're killing the game listen to the radio with a gutted car he goes yeah but it's all treble you can't hear any bass also you have this awesome brace in the back which creates more rigidity in the car the car used to be lower than it is now but then he raised it did more square stance and what that did it changed the entire game made it handle better etc my favorite part about this car so far is the shifter this k tune shifter is magnificent and it gives it a really cool analog feel <laughs> and I feel like I'm going into a bolt action rifle every shift. And the transmission itself feels so stout. Tegra itself, people always ask me, David, if you had to own a front wheel drive Honda, if you would get one, what would it be? I always go Integra. I love the Integra. There's something about it, especially the, like the JDM front end. I think it cleans it up so much. Love the steering wheel setup. I love the gauge setup. I love how every control is you know, set up. And he also has these switches down here for his radiator fans, ignition, so the battery isn't drained so when he's on the dyno. It's just all together an awesome package. And when people want an Integra, I usually say, yeah, go for it, dude, if they ask. I mean, it's a great starter car, especially if you're getting into the car seat. The yellow color screams Integra to me. When somebody says, I have an Integra, I'm like, I hope it's yellow, because there's just something about that. Excuse. 
Another thing I want to talk about is it's right hand drive converted. And a lot of people do this, but this is so clean. Like, if you had met Kevin the first time, he could totally be like, yeah, dude, it's important. And you would probably believe him because of how simple the dash is and everything's converted, even the hood latches converted. With the front wheel drive, it still ho it hooks up really well, but you still get the little divots in the road every now and then where you have to control it. It snaps this way, snaps that way. and it's also K-Tune. So I would call this a very K-Tune theme car and every product feels amazing. The shifter, the suspension, the rigidity of the car is just stout. Another thing too is the seats, these bright seats are so freaking nice. Like I can't even convey how nice they are. They're super comfortable and they have Kevlar on the back. Are they pricey? Yeah, I don't know if they're like if it's worth it for most people, but man, it looks awesome. So another thing too with the clutch. 
is that it has a stage two clutch, but stage one pressure plate. So what that does is creates a grab at the very top, but if you sit far enough back, like far enough back in your seat, it's almost perfect, and it feels pretty much like a stock Integra. It, it doesn't like feel like it's a really bad aftermarket clutch where you have to rev to the sky to get it to move. And the only thing that would, you know, scare away an old person from this car, what I say is the noise. But when it comes to the ride itself, it's 10K up front, spring right, 10, 6 bay in the back. And it's really not that bad. Fourth gear. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this very intense review. This was so freaking great. I had an awesome time hanging out with Mr. Kevin. It was great of him to drive two and a half hours in this thing to let me rip on it and go crazy. So huge thanks to Four Bangers Production and Kevin. Make sure to follow him on all the social media. I'll put it in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. And take it easy. Have a great day.